Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Keith's Beer Reviews. Um, tonight I'm going to do my uh, first McKellar beer that I've ever done. Um, this is McKellar's Big Worse. Uh, all I really know about it is it's a uh, barley wine and it comes in at 12.0% ABV. So it's a big beer and a sort of small bottle. Slightly more, larger than 12 ounce, but um, uh, still a fairly small bottle. Uh, this was brewed and bottled by McKellar at De Proof Brewery La Christophe, Belgium. I know I butchered every one of those names. Um, this is obviously a uh, caged and corked uh, bottle under the uh, foil, so rather than film me just struggling with the foil and the, and the, and the cork, which hopefully I won't. Um, but at least until I get the foil off, I'm going to pause the camera and I'll be back when the foil's off and it's ready to open. Well, that uh, foil came off uh, pretty easily, unlike, uh, and cleanly, unlike some, uh, some brewers. Um, let me get this cork out. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Let me get a wrench on it here. <laughs> you never know what to expect with these corks. Sometimes they come fairly easy, sometimes they don't. There we go. Getting. I guess you still get to watch me struggle. Damn it. Uh, I don't know. This one does not want to come out. Hopefully this one. Damn. Get the sucker sealed good. This will be a nice blooper reel, that's for damn sure. Sometime in the future. Hold on. Damn, finally. That, I swear, is going to be the hardest cork I've ever had to get out of a bottle. For such a little bottle, it's a long cork. Um, anyway, let's get this in the glass and see what we've got here. You can see, even with an aggressive four, I didn't get get much of a head. Um, got a dark red, almost burgundy appearance. There's a little dark orange around the around the base of the glass. I can see some yeasties and chunkies and stuff floating in the in the very thinnest bottom part of the glass. But other than that, you cannot see through it. Let's give it a smell and see what how this is working. Oh man, yeah. Um, you get your dark fruits right up front. You get raisins, prunes, sugary. I get a lot of alcohol. A lot of alcohol. This is a. They're not masking. They're not even attempting to mask this twelve percent at all. You get alcohol right up, up right up front. Um, Getting a little, maybe a little molasses, maybe some of the sweeter fruits like cherries and blueberries. But basically, it's your dark, your dark raisins and prunes. You got sugar, sugars, malts, and alcohol. I mean, it's a good, good smelling barley wine. I, I think the alcohol is a bit much on the smell. Let's give it a taste and see if it follows. Not really. You don't get you don't get the dark fruits quite up front. Um, you just get a sweet caramel, sugary, malty sweetness right up front, and the booze hits you right away. You can you can feel the alcohol on this. They, they haven't even attempted to mask it. Very 
There's um, some light molasses in this. Um, further back in the palate is where you start getting the uh, your uh, raisins and, and dates and your darker fruits like that. Um, you get a bit of a bit of hoppiness, maybe a little cleanliness, you know, um, at the finish, but it's not really a, not again. Not not a real cleansing finish. This is a sweet beer. This is a some medium to heavy, medium to heavy mouthfeel on this. Um, there is a little bit of carbonation that kind of cleans cleans some of the heaviness and the sweetness away. But there's there doesn't appear. Oh well, you can't. Of course, you can't see anything through the glass anyway. But there doesn't appear to be a whole lot of carbonation in it. But this is, hmm. but again, malts, dark fruits, caramel, and alcohol. It's pretty much what we get. Let me sit and let it warm up, see if the flavors change. I'm sure with a beer this heavy, with this much going on, there will be some changes when it warms up. Okay, I'm back. It's been half an hour or so. Um, I've been sipping on this. It's warmed up. Warmed up quite a bit. Um, it's definitely not the best barley wine I've had. In fact, they're looking at the bottle here. It says a barley wine style ale. So I don't. They they don't even really call it a barley wine. I normally like barley wines. It's right up there with porters and stouts for me. For what I like. I mean, this is a good beer. It's a darn good beer. Um, the taste have mellowed some since it since it warmed up. Um, but definitely not the best barley wine I've had, um, or even barley wine style. Uh, Bigfoot, they say, is a barley wine style. I'm not sure what the difference between that and a regular barley wine is, but, um, uh, anyway, yeah, there's, um, not a lot of hoppiness. I, I can't find that. I guess there's some numbers here on the, on the cap that are supposed to tell you the, the age of the beer so I don't know what what they use for hops or malts or anything like that but uh, it's decent not the best barley wine not even close that I've ever had um, as a barley wine I'd probably give it about I'd give it an 8 out of 10 um, just as an overall good drinking beer, good tasting beer, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. I'll average those two. And for this, um, McKellar's Big Worse gets an 8.5 on a scale of 10. And until next time, everybody, cheers. And keep drinking good beers.